Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we were testing every single mask on Amazon. And today we got a doozy, the Lee Cooper since 1908, I think reusable mask, which I think is one of the first reusable masks. But the reason we're doing it is because it also says that it has melt blown and spun bond in it, which cannot be reused. So interested, interested. This is gonna be an interesting one. All right, let's open this up and test it. Oh yeah, that's definitely a reusable mask. Wow, okay. So it's got three masks in there. I like the packaging, the packaging's real nice. Yeah, that is, that is cloth mask there, for sure. Wow, okay. Oh, it's very strong smell. Got a clamper, boom. And let's let it rip. All right, this is super, super, super weird. So, you know, we got the Lee Cooper cotton face mask with high Q V block filter and minimum fogging. Face masks for outdoor protection. It's weird flex. Uh, Swiss tech, uber cool, Aussie style. <laughs> We're throwing words here. Face mask washable. Wash up to 30 uses and water resistant layers. Reusable masks are disposable, better for planet, and look stylish too. Everyday armor. Great to feel to sport a designer mask while camping. I got a lot of questions. So uh, when I look at the bag, it's actually making some claims on here. They're saying BFE of 95%, and then they're also saying PFE of 90%. Now remember, BFE means nothing when it comes to the coronavirus. Like bacteria is like 10, 20, 30, 100 times bigger than the coronavirus. So that's a useless thing. And the PFE, weird that they would throw out 90%. It's just a weird flex. I guess it's what they're, and then they have splash resistant hydrostatic test. I don't know what that is, uh, but it's, there are quoting the uh, ASTM test at 160 millimeters of uh, mercury, uh, which is uh, the test that uh, an ASTM level three mask goes through. So that's very interesting. Uh, breathability, eh, eh, great, love it. Uh, 45 pascals, what does that mean? What does that mean? You, you ain't, this is not gonna protect you at all. All right, so let me take a look at this. All right, uh, very strong, obviously it's a reusable mask, it's not gonna break. I'm gonna put this bad memajama on here. It's got these uh, little tightening strippies things. It's actually uh, it's actually a little bit lower than I. It like the the way it's designed is it, it's designed where see this right here. And I'll do the I'll do the the top shot so you can see. Look at that. The fit is horrible. Like this is probably the worst fit, fitting mask I've ever used. And it smells like pure gasoline. Horrible. It smells like pure gasoline. Now, I suppose after you wash it and put fabric softener in it, it'll get better. Oh, boy. Lee, I'm about to tear you a new one here. This is not a good mask. Okay, so uh, one of the things that it's saying is like inner layer, moisture controlled antibacterial finish. A lot of claims, two melt blown layers. That's what you put in a normal, like that's the filter layer of a reusable mask. But the thing is, if you wash that mask, if you wash a reusable mask, it won't work anymore. Uh, two spun bonded, spun bonded uh, fluid protection. That's the thing that's gonna block liquid from getting in. This is in reusable masks. Now clearly they've got like a, you know, uh, like this sort of plasticky outer finish. This is the least protective mask that you could ever wear. <laughs> Well, I don't know, we haven't shown the test yet, but we'll see. So layer spun, so we got a layer of like, uh, I, I don't know what that is, like you know, Lululemon pants, I'm gonna call that. That's a technical term. Uh, and then we've got a layer of spun bond. That's it, just spun bond. It's a giant, this is like a 130 GSM, 100 GSM layer of spun bond. No melt blown. You sit on a throne of lies. So they're lying about the melt blown that's in there. No melt blown. They said two layers of spun bun, just one. 
and then they've got a layer of cotton on the back. So I mean, why lie about this stuff? It doesn't make any sense. This is a horrible mask. And I can tell you by the makeup that this is, I mean, it looked, is not gonna protect you at all. But let's see. Oof, 21.5%, 21.5%. This is, this is a useless mask. Like this is like, this, you know what this mask will do? It will, you know, make you smell like everything smells like gasoline. Like that, that's the only thing this will do for you. This is horrible, I would not use this mask. Um, personal opinion, I don't like they're lying to you. Great packaging though, guys, and good brand. So you did something there. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope this was helpful. If you ended up buying this mask because you hate me uh, and you think my advice is awful, uh, well, technically you benefited from this video. So I'm just gonna ask for you, even though, you know, if you can get over your hatred for a second, because I, I did help you, give me a like and a subscribe, and then come back next time and do it every day. That'll show me. All right, thank you guys so much. And I will catch you on the next test.